hey guys welcome back to another call of duty mobile video in today's video i'm going to give you top 10 zombie endless mod tips i repeat these are not hardcore mod tips these are endless mod tips tip number one i'll start with something that you already know but you don't know to the fullest there is a point on the map that is just below this staircase that the enemies do not respawn behind you that's what you know but you can even go outside of the house and stay behind these poles and still zombies do not spawn right behind you this is a great location take the distance advantage and take out enemies faster so better use a gun like the svd or the rpd and quickly finish the early rounds in the endless mode tip number two next tip is using trip mine effectively now you may not know but one of the best weapons inside of the endless mode is the trip mine because when you level up the amount of regular zombies or the hellhounds are really high and even when you get rid of the bosses there is still hundreds of these zombies left so to finish them off quickly and also without wasting your ammo is to use the trip mine but just placing it on the ground is not going to be enough so you have to wander around and spawn as many as regular zombies as possible then try running in zigzag so that they will be stacked together and then trip mine them it's a great strategy to take out even more than 15 zombies at once so try to master this because this is going to be really helpful the third tip is never rest because mostly if you are playing a squad your friends will say my hands hurt or i want to pee and numerous type of things to stop the game and telling others to leave just one zombie and let me take a rest but actually although they call it endless in 2 hours and 40 minutes the match is going to end so if you rest at around 44 45 or 46 rounds you will run out of time so always try not to take a rest unless it is really really necessary the fourth tip is you can use the rpd to farm coins literally up to 10 rounds without upgrading it here i have used the rpd up to 10 rounds and still i haven't upgraded it so you can and use this to farm coins because you are literally not spending coins to get ammo it is not recommended to use the rpd in late rounds but for a change you can use it so that you will not get bored of using the same weapon for two hours and 40 minutes straight tip number five is looking at the minimap continually now you may not realize where the zombies spawn looking at the minimap time to time will help you to avoid getting cornered by zombies tip number six is the damage multiplier is different from gun to gun what i mean by damage multiplier is the damage you deal when you land a headshot or the most vulnerable area like the abdomen of the inferno for an example when you reach level 10 take a look at the damage multiplier on these guns for shorty it's 2.7 for the svd it's 3 for the crg it's 2.5 for the lk9 it's around 3.1 so they are not the same so just because a gun does deal good damage does not mean it's a really nice gun you have to take a look at the damage multiplier don't worry at the end of the video i will show you some loadouts and also i will tell you what is its damage multiplier tip number seven is make sure you choose the right weapon for your play style also choose the classes based on the guns you are willing to play for an example if you are going to play with the lk9 and the shorty it's a great combo you should definitely use the portuguese class and not the medic class or the sentry gun and the trap master the reason is the portuguese skill module can double the pistol damage so if you are going to use the pistol class and you are not using the portuguese class that's a total waste so don't do that tip number eight i will show you how to take out different types of zombies i recently posted a poll and i was quite surprised by the result because 59 percent of the people think that the inferno is the most annoying zombie in fact for me it is the easiest one to get rid of and personally for me the avocados brutus and the hellhounds are equally annoying killing inferno is really easy all you have to do is just to stay away from it and deal as much as damage you can so for that you should have either a sniper rifle or a marksman because if you use any other gun it's going to take a lot of time if you use a shotgun that is risky because it can kill you instantly if you are too close to it so always try to use a marksman like the SKS or a sniper like the SED or the CRG and it won't be a problem then if you take Brutus whenever you see a Brutus immediately try to kill it and what you have to do is land headshots because that's the only place that deal the highest damage to them if you do not get 
rid of the Brutus as soon as possible, it will charge to you and kill you. So to avoid it, prioritize Brutus always. When it comes to avocados, they are literally one of the easiest if you isolate them. Meaning if you kill all the rest of regular zombies or the hellhounds, you end up with just 3 or 5 avocados. Just prone and try to snipe or shotgun them. They die pretty easily. They can't do anything to you as long as you are prone. The most aggressive zombies out there are the hellhounds. They are also one of the annoying ones because they stack around you easily and they quickly spawn even. The best way to get rid of them is also spawn as much as hellhounds as possible. So just wander around and use strip mine. Strip mines can easily get to 10 to 15 of these hellhounds. So it's not going to be a problem anymore. And whenever you need, you should use the shotgun. For the regular zombies, it's obvious. Just stack them up together and use strip mine effectively. It's easier and also it doesn't waste your ammo. From my experience, the only rounds that you should be extra cautious is where you get hellhounds and avocados together because you got to run and you got to watch out for that electric ball or whatever that is sent by the avocado to you the rounds are pretty easy with all the tips that i have mentioned so far tip number nine is the use of trap master module trap master module comes really handy when it comes to dealing with most of the types of enemies especially hellhounds and brutus earlier when we get the zombie mod we did not have access now after leveling up the pass we finally have the trap master module unlocked at level 25 what is great about the trap master module is that unless you destroy the traps or use a trip mine on them they are not going to be destroyed so you can set up to three traps and slow down your enemies this is going to be great especially if you go for headshots and if you play as a team this will increase team backup ammo and also the sniper or the lmg damage by 25 percent that is going to be really good as the final tip i'm going to give you some loadouts that you can try in the endless mode i have tried each and every gun and i try to find guns with higher multiplier damage and improve damage with the use of right skill module so as i told you before choose the right module based on the guns you are willing to use first i'm going to share my favorite loadout that really helped me in the endless mode that is the svd when it reached level 10 pack a punch upgrade can deal a damage of 14,850, which will surely be doubled when you get a double tap perk so that's a lot of damage the next loadout is the jack 12 and this is specifically used for close range combat never use it against infernos because it's really risky you can use it against regular zombies and hellhounds next you should also try to play with this shorty this is amazing if you use the poltergeist skill module this bad boy can deal a damage of 55,404 and if you land a headshot that is just an incredible amount of damage so in later rounds this is going to be really helpful but again this might be a little risky when it comes to infernos because you got to be a little closer to deal the maximum damage in that case you might get killed i got killed most of the times next loadout is for the rpd and remember you should equip the cooling compressor barrel and the other thing you should notice is that this build is especially an aim downside build so you are not supposed to use it in close ranges as i told you rpd is not that great in late rounds so you should use this to farm coins or if you get bored the lk9 is also a really nice weapon if you use the poltergeist class with the level 10 pack a punch the lk9 has a damage multiplier of 3.1 that is just insane here is the crg loadout i'm going to share with you this crg can deal more damage than the svd but the only problem is the slow fire rate Next up we have Echo. Echo is very similar to Jack 12. The only difference is that you will feel less efficient when you are using Echo. Echo deals more damage but the spread is not that great. Next up we have the SKS. SKS is great in the hard mode but when it comes to endless mode, after a certain amount of rounds it's going to be harder to use. Especially even to get regular zombies you will need 2-3 shots. So it's not going to be good. It is not advised to use this gun in higher rounds like level 40 but you can try this in lower rounds if you get bored as i told you before some people really need an assault rifle gunsmith or smg gunsmith because they are so used to them so here are the best assault rifle and the best smg for the endless mod first we have the orton this has a higher damage multiplier compared to most of the assault rifles and it deals pretty good damage too but again it's not recommended to use this in higher rounds then as the final loadout the best 
best SMG in the zombie mod is the Bison. It has a damage multiplier of 1.75 and that is really amazing for a SMG. When you level up the gun with the Packer Punch Machine, it's going to be like a LMG. And with that mobility, it's going to be a huge advantage. So this is basically like a LMG with high mobility. So those are all the tips for the Endless Mode. I have seen many people trying Endless Mode right now. Everyone is trying to go to leaderboards and leaderboard is updating every single minute. It's just amazing. So I wish you good luck because sometimes luck also matters in Endless Mode. Please leave a like on this video if you found this video helpful and make sure you subscribe and click the bell like. I'll see you guys in another video.